again i'm sorry i think it's been like five ish months something like that don't know what's happened don't know where i've been um i feel like life's been a bit chaotic recently um but anyway sorry i'm here now god knows how regularly but i'm here now um I thought I'd pop on and just do a bit of an update really of what I've been stitching. I've got finishes. Um, yeah, I feel like I just thought I'd get us back on track and then hopefully, fingers crossed, I can actually try and come back not after five months next time. We'll see. Um, yeah, I feel very rusty, very awkward. Um, bear with me, we'll get through it. Uh, yeah, so I life update-ish, I suppose. I don't really know what's to report. I don't know where I've been. Um, we've had some holidays. My daughter started school, big school. Um, yeah, I don't, I really don't know. I really don't know. Um, my other thing is, slight confession, my stitchy bug has vanished. Um, I've done very, very minimal stitching over the last month, but I'm hoping that by getting everything out and showing you what I've been doing, that it might make a little bit of a comeback. Fingers crossed, please help me out. Um, Cause I miss it, I miss sitting and stitching in the evening. And I feel like if I have sat down and stitched in the evening for the last few weeks, I've done about 20 stitches and that's that. So hopefully you guys can help me get my stitchy bug back. I can show you all the things, we can move on and all will be good. Fingers crossed. Okay, so I'm gonna start with some fully finished objects. Um, one of them I don't actually have with me because it's been gifted to its recipient. Um, but we'll get to that anyway. Okay, where to start? First thing, let's show you Masquerade by Taylor and Cromwell. Um, so I haven't showed this for a I don't think I showed it in my last video, so it's probably like January, February when I last showed you this one. Um, this is a Phantom of the Opera inspired piece, which I was stitching for my partner. He is, it's been sat finished for, must be a good couple of months now, and he's been asking to take it to work so he can pop it on his desk for all this time, and it's just been sat waiting going, no, no, I must show it on a video before you can take it. Um, so at least he'll be happy after this. Um, so anyway, I will pop a picture of where I was last time. I think I'd done the top words, most of the top words, and I'd started on the mask, I think. Um, but this is now fully finished, and here we go. So this is Masquerade by Taylor and Cromwell. Um, I found it on Etsy. Um, I've stitched this on a Claire Brown fabric. Um, I think it's 16 count cherry blossom, I think it's called. And I actually really quite like the effect of it on there. Um, so yeah, that one's done. I really like it. I love the um, text at the bottom, particularly like this, like, I don't know what you call that kind of writing, but I really like it. Um, framed by my mum in just a nice cheap frame from the range here in the UK. So that one is finished. I can go with my partner to work. By the way, while I'm thinking about fabric, uh, this particular Claire Brown, Brown fabric. Claire Brown has finished her fabrics. Um, she, I'm sure you'll all have seen if you follow her on Instagram, but yet she's decided to stop with her fabric business. However, I think she's passed her business on to someone else. So fingers crossed, we can still get hold of all these beautiful fabrics that she does. Um, but yeah, that was a big loss. I was sad about that news. Anyway, that's that one. That's FFO number one. Next one we have is a snail house. So this, um, we've been, me and Joe from Belushi Stitches have been stitching the Owl Forest Embroidery snail houses. Uh, I don't know when we started these, but we started using the hashtag, hashtag snail house Saturday. Um, Cause the original plan was that we were gonna stitch these every Saturday um, forevermore. Um, that's gone out the window somewhat. I managed to finish the next, the, fourth snail house which I'll show you in a second since then very minimal snail stitching has been done on Saturday or any day to be honest anyway I'll show you where I was so snail house I was on the grape snail house which was the fourth one I've already finished three which are up on my wall upstairs um the fourth one is the grape one I'll pop a picture in of where I was last time um so I just had I think I'd done all the outside leaves and I just had like the main grapes around the edges to do so this is finished, 
it is in a frame it does need reframing but it is in a frame and here we go so I'm really pleased with this one again I just love these patterns I think they're absolutely adorable um, I love the colour of this, um, the grapes. I think it's a really beautiful colour. And obviously Al Forest uses um, variegated thread, threads. So this was just done purely with the kit from Al Forest Embroidery um, on 32 count Belfast linen and they're called for threads. Um, obviously with the Russia problems, um, getting kits and things from Alvarez at the moment is not possible. However, you can still get patterns for most of their um, designs through a shop on Etsy. Um, if you have a look at their Instagram, I'm sure all the links and everything are up there. Anyway, this is Snail House Grape. All done. However, I'm not sure if you can see, I did put it on the wall and it fell off um, and it's made the stitching a little bit wonky. I don't know if you can really tell. So I just need to readjust the framing of that one. Um, but anyway, it's done. I'm really happy that it's done. Next one. Um, let's go with Caterpillar Cross Stitch. So myself and Joe from Belushi Stitches were stitching Adventure Awaits from Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Um, we'd planned to do this over five months. I think it was April to August. We were doing, we'd split the pattern into five parts and we were doing one part a month. Last time I showed you, I believe it was April and I believe I'd done April's part, so I'd done part one. And as it's been so long, I have actually finished it and framed it. And here we go. Um, so that one is all finished, a beautiful map design of the world. Um, so yeah, I think last time it was literally just this middle bit here, like Europe, um, but I finished it. I loved stitching this one. It was such an easy, fun stitch, really nice colours, and I just thrown it in a really simple um, black frame, again, just from the range. Um, so yeah, I actually, when I started stitching this, planned to give it away to someone, um but my partner really liked it he really wanted it up on the wall here so we've kept it um so there you go so this um i had the full kit for this one this is on 16 count pale blue as why i got ada with all the call for dmc again just with the full um kit from caterpillar cross stitch so that one is done really pleased with that one okay one more physical ffo to show you um, you'll have seen this if you follow me on Instagram, um, perhaps if you don't see my Instagram, this might be a surprise that this one is finished. So, Cryptids by The Witchy Stitcher. Um, I don't think I showed it in my last video, it might have even been the one before that, and I think I was halfway through the creatures on that. And I have now finished it and framed it, and I absolutely love it. And here it is! I'm so excited to get this one on the wall, I absolutely love it. I'm really pleased with the frame I went for um, and I've made sure I have a matching frame for Supernatural which is a spoiler for further in the video <laughs> um, yes so this is all finished now I just got on a roll stitching this absolutely loved it um, I think eventually I started kind of like stitching the borders and the names of the creatures and then going back in and filling in the actual um, cryptids themselves. But yeah, I love it. And then that border, I felt like it took ages, but I actually really enjoyed stitching it. It took me a long time, but I really liked it. So yes, this is um, on 20 count vintage mocha Ada from Zygot. Called for DMC. I actually used one strand over two, no, sorry, one strand over one on this. I'm really pleased with the finished result. Um, yeah, all framed and can finally go on the wall. I absolutely love, 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 love this piece. Might potentially be my favorite finish of the year so far, I think. So that's that one. So my final um, fully finished object um, was actually a new start as well. I think, I'm pretty sure it was a new start. So, um, Sadly, my, one of my good friends from work, um, her little boy um, became quite unwell. Uh, that must have been around April. That must have been around the time of my last video. Um, so I wanted to 
kind of stitch him a little something, put a smile on his face and yeah, I did, I think. I think he really likes it anyway, I've been told he does. Um, so I stitched a pattern, uh, I think it's called Dino Space and it's by the Stitch Patterns. I'll pop a picture in of it nearly finished. Um, don't th um, I don't know if I have a picture of it fully finished in its frame, um, but here we go. I think. <laughs> um, so this was um, a little pattern I stitched for him on 32 count Belfast linen in the loose Bruce, I think the fabric was it was called. Uh, I stitched it with the call for DMC, really nice quick pattern to stitch. Um, but then I also popped his name along the bottom. Um, and it's just gone in a really simple white frame. I think it's in fact the same frame as the masquerade frame. Um, so yeah, that's really done. It's gone to his uh, new bedroom as they are moving house shortly as well um, but yeah that's all done and he's doing really well and yeah that's that one anyway dino space okay that is it for fully finished objects I do have one more finish to show you and that is the April sampler of the month which is by Country Cottage Needleworks so I'll pop a picture in of where I was last time um, so I think I was trying to stitch these one per month or at least try and get back on track with stitching them once a month. Um, clearly, as this is my last finish to show you, that has gone completely out the window as we are in September now, but never mind. Yeah, it was it was a tr tough uh, aim for me, I think, but never mind. Anyway, here is the finished result. So I say this is the April house. I think you'll have seen last time I literally just had the house stitched. Um, and so the rest of it's been added on. And there you go. Uh, this is on 32 count Zweigart Lucan, just in natural. And yeah, I really, really like these. I'm really excited to finish more of them. And I will get to them soon. Maybe next year we'll try for the month by month thing. We'll see how we go. Um, okay, that is finishes all done. Let's go to whips and then we'll get on to new starts after those. Okay, so whips. I, to be honest, I had to keep a little list on my phone of like what I was stitching um, since my last video because I'm really bad at forgetting where I'm up to. Uh, and I'm really glad I did, having had a month of not really stitching on that much at all. Um, I had absolutely no idea what I'd done and what I hadn't done this um, I was going to say this last month, but this last five months. Um, so apparently one of my whips was uh, one of my Hades, Heaven and Earth Designs, and it was Blue Butterfly by Ching Cho Kweek. Pop a picture in of what it looks like when it was done. So this I started stitching with Jemima, the rocking stitcher. Um, she is well finished on this by now. Looks amazing. Um, and I really want to get this done. I And actually... If I just sat down and prioritised it, I don't think it would take that long, but, um, meh, anyway. Um, so I'll pop a picture in of where I was last time, which apparently was about 22.52%. And here is where I am now. Um, and it's about 25.93%. So I've not done masses on this, but it's really coming along. You can really see, um, the basic outline of where we're at now it's just confetti crazy stitching this one to be honest it's so much fun to do and I love seeing the colours coming through um in fact I'll show you the back of how much carrying there is going on in this piece um yeah anyway so that's that one we'll get back to it at some point this one I'm stitching on 25 count one over one uh, I think it's in Antique White, Ada. And yeah. Really need to get a paid finish. Um, and to be honest, I finally, I so I signed up on a slightly different tangent. I signed up to the Gecko Rouge Gold Club. Um, if you don't know what Gecko Rouge are, it is a cross-stitch company based in the UK. Um, they don't sell patterns, they only sell full kits and their designs are absolutely beautiful. I'm sure loads of you will have seen so many cross stitches stitching uh, Gecko Rouge designs, including the Bee by Lorna Lane. I'll pop a picture in of what that looks like. Um, anyway, so I signed up to the Gold Club and basically you pay a monthly fee 
and then at the end you get um every six months you get a gift voucher of what you've paid plus discounts and access to other patterns and various bits and pieces um so it's kind of like a little like cross stitch savings account almost i suppose um anyway i got two gecko rouge kit gecko rouge kits which is the b um which i've just shown you and also um is it called story time i think it's called story time animal instincts kelly stitched this and i absolutely love it it's beautiful um so i got that one as well pop a picture in um but obviously they're full coverage is full coverage designs and i've promised myself that i really really need to get another full coverage finished before i start anymore um so i'd really like to get the blue butterfly done so i can start one of those uh that's the plan whether we stick to it i don't know because we all love we all know i do love a new start so we'll see how we go anyway um next whip i have is under the sea which is or was a stitch along from lakeside needlecraft um a good few years ago now um the design is by Jureen jones um i'll pop a picture in for a little light when it's done this is a stitch along that myself and my sal queen joe from Bluetooth stitches are doing and kelly from animal instinct is also joining us on this one this um as you'll have seen by the finished design is kind of split into 12 different creatures i suppose under the sea creatures um so we were trying to do one per month and the other two are doing great they're really sticking to their one a month and they look fabulous i have fallen slightly behind Never mind, I'll catch up eventually. Um, I'll pop a picture in of where I was last time, which I think I'd finished March's section, so the third section. Um, I have worked on this a little bit. I've done two more full sections. I've not taken it out of its hoop, sorry. Um, but this is where we are now. So I have done the submarine, which was April's section. I should add this needs a whole lot of back stitching because that submarine looks very odd right now. Um, and I also done these little seahorses, which are so adorable. Um, so I started on June's section, which is some jellyfish here. Doesn't look much like a jellyfish at the moment, but it will do. Um, I don't know why I stopped with this one. I think it's because these jellyfish have a lot of that horrendous, um, sparkly thread devil thread i can't remember what it's called um that is in these fish here uh if you can see the effect is amazing but stitching with it is awful absolutely awful um maybe that's why i put it off i really need to get back to it i love it i love all the rest of the sections just need to carry on um so yeah clearly i won't have this finished by the end of the year unless a miracle happens but i'll try my best to get back on track um so this is on what kind of fabric is it i think it's a 36 count and i think the fabric is actually called under the sea it was a fabric specially designed for this design sold by lakeside needlecraft um, and you can actually get this as a i think you can get this as a full kit on lakeside needlecraft or by the pattern and just the fabric or whatever you want to do so yeah that's that one okay oh last time i don't know Never mind. never mind okay next one we have is modern folk embroidery fruits of plenty which is the 2021 stitch along um now last time well i'll pop a picture in of what it looks like when it's done you'll have all seen this a million times before i think so many people are stitching it either last year or still stitching it this year um i know chris cross stitch ran is running a stitch along for this this year called is it still fresh fruit sal i think um i was gonna try and keep up with the still fresh fruit style and get back on track that's not happened either anyway uh last time you saw it i was part way through march uh, sorry not march may section i'll pop a picture of where i was uh and i've got as far as finishing may section so here we are now and i just love it i think this is doing this video is doing its job of wanting of getting me wanting to stitch again um because picking this up and i really want to carry on with it so one more section to do and we'll be halfway there and clearly we still have a long way to go um so this is i'm stitching on 32 count natural lucan from zweigart 
I'm using the colours that Jacob used in his um, mock-up, his designed version, which is DMC 932 and 3750. And I just love it. And I absolutely love, I think it's called a CC stitching, um, which is... I can't hold I'm so out of practice I can't hold things uh which is like this tree here and like these bits here where the pattern is like the negative space I think it's beautiful love it so that's that one I will get back to it at some point can't wait to have that one on my wall when it's done uh, one more whip to show you before we get on to new starts. And the next one is an oldie, really. Um, this is one of my older whips. Oh no, I'm all tangled up with threads and needle minders. There we go. Um, so this is Disney Princesses by Happy Sloth. Happy Sloth Designs? Happy Sloth Patterns? I don't know. I'll pop a finished picture of it in here. Um, if you are not new to my channel you'll have seen that I have already done two um Star Trek pieces in a similar design um where's this blue thread come from I don't know anyway sorry um yes so I'll pop a picture in of where I was last time I was at 44% done last time apparently um uh, I've not taken this off its hoop because I am um, this is the one piece I've actually been working on a little bit recently just because it's easy stitching and I can just kind of put a few stitches in without really thinking about it and this is where I'm up to now so now I am on about 56% done uh, I've definitely finished or done this princess since last time and I'm now working on Ariel she's only got half of her face left to do and then we'll be moving on so this I'm stitching on 16 count white Ada using the call for DMC. Um, yeah, I'm kind of hoping to have a finish on this. Not soon, soon, but I'd like to finish it this year. Um, I'm really enjoyed getting some finishes in recently. So yeah, I'd like to get that one done. And then I can start on the villains, uh, which I believe Sammy Liz is stitching. I'm way behind on floss tube, like massively, massively behind, even on all my favourite floss tubers. So God knows where she's up to. She could have finished this, uh, the, the villains piece for all I know. Absolutely no idea. Um, but yeah, that's where we're up to. Really like it. We'll love the finished design when it's done. Um, yeah. Okay. New starts. Um, let's go for my snail house. So as I mentioned before, I'm massively behind on snail house stitching. I have definitely fallen off the snail house Saturday bandwagon. I will try and get back to it because I really enjoyed having like a day to stitch on these and see really good progress. And it was a way to kind of get a semi-regular finish. Um, I think we were, when we started, I feel like we were spending maybe six, seven, eight Saturdays stitching on each one before we got a finish. So it'd be really nice to pick these back up again. Um, I've no idea where Jo uh, is up to on these. Is she still on? Is she, did, she might have started the grape. I can't remember. Really no idea. Anyway, the next one I chose to start was the watermelon snail. I'll pop a picture in of where, uh, no, of what it looks like when it's finished. Um, this, I, again, am using the kit from Owl Forest Embroidery. So it's the called for 32 count Belfast linen and the called for Owl Forest threads. And here is where I'm up to. So not a massive start, but we've started on the actual house itself. There we go. Oh, let's move all that out of the way. So yeah, these are super fun to stitch. Really, um, kind of tricky to get the variegation how you want it but I'm kind of like not being too fussy about that and just going with whatever I tend to pull out um so yeah that's that one really like it I want it to join my other snails on my wall um, I'm sure I'll get it done sometime <laughs> so after that one I have one more snail to stitch which is the pumpkin house which is my favorite of this three of snails um, and then I think Al Forest did say there will be three more snails at some point in time um, 
I'm not sure a if they will release them anytime soon and b if they do whether I'll get them um I might wait until if and when they become available as kits again um just because I really love the Al Forest thread and I think it'll look a bit weird if I got the next three patterns and didn't use the Al Forest thread I think they'd look quite odd so I don't know what we're going to do there we'll wait and see see what happens on that one next one I have my next new start is the May sampler of the month so as I said um yeah clearly quite behind being stitching the May one rather than the September one but never mind um so that's what it will look like when it's done if you can see so same kind of design with the house in the middle and uh, month appropriate um things <laughs> uh, around it and i have a really really tiny tiny start on this one which is just the start of the house so really didn't get very far in this one but it started and I think I actually didn't get that far in it because I was extremely stressed when I started stitching this. Um, so my partner and I arranged a trip to London. Um, basically, I don't know if anyone has heard of Chess the musical. If you haven't, go and watch it immediately. It is one of the, I think it's such an underrated musical. It is fabulous, I absolutely love it. The whole thing is on YouTube if you can find it. Um, and it's so good. It's like, I don't know how to explain it without it sounding really rubbish, but it's really good. Um, yeah, and it's one of mine and my partner's favorite musicals and it has not been on. We have, haven't been able to find it to go and watch anywhere ever. Um, and then I suddenly found that it was on in London, originally as a one night only show, but then they bumped it up to two nights. Um, and I was like, I, we need to go and see this. Um, it was actually just before his birthday that we found out about this. Um, so I treated him for his birthday, I managed to bag us some tickets um, to go down to London for a night and watch it. Best thing I've ever seen live, on a side note, absolutely amazing. I can't wait, it must be back on again shortly and I, you must all go and see it if you're in the UK, it's absolutely brilliant. Anyway, on the train on the way there, um, our train got cancelled, which was great. Um, then the next trains all got delayed and the sort of time was ticking on and I was thinking we're not going to get there on time I don't know what to do how can we get to London another way can we go an alternative route uh, uh, so yeah I was quite stressed so even by the time I actually got on the train um didn't get very very far anyway that was a massive tangent that you probably don't actually care about anyway next new start um Supernatural by the Witchy Stitcher. So as soon as they announced, the Witchy Stitcher announced, announced that they were gonna do a follow-up stitch along or like a um, sister stitch to cryptids, I knew I had to do it immediately because I absolutely loved doing cryptids so much. Um, I just think it looks so cool. Um, so I had to do Supernatural. Um, so I started really well. I started when the border was released. I didn't stitch the whole thing because I think I'm pretty sure that when the border for that was released, I was just starting on the border for cryptids and I could not handle doing two massive borders at the same time. That was far too much for my brain. Um, and I knew I would get very bored. So I started the border and started really well with the releases. Um, I can pop a picture in of where we're up to with the current releases. I think, is it part nine that's just been released? Or is it part 11? I don't know. Either way, we're much further on than I am. This is where I'm up to. So I started really, really, really well. Um, I did the siren pretty much the week it was released. Pretty sure similar to the werewolf. Banshee, I was starting to fall a bit behind, um, but I wasn't too worried. I thought I can catch up with this um started the changeling and then i don't know what happened the stitchy bug fell off and i haven't come back to it since so i'm kind of behind on this one but i will get back to it and i will carry on because i absolutely love it 
So I'm stitching this on the same fabric as Cryptids, which is 20 count Zweigart Vintage Mocker. And I'm stitching it one over one in the Core 4 DMC. So we'll get there eventually. I think I might try and do what I did last time, which I really enjoyed doing, and stitch the borders that have already been released and then come back and fill in the little creatures after that. Um, I can't remember what other creatures are on here, but what I do remember is the last release was a gnome and it is quite possibly my favourite thing I've ever seen. I absolutely love it. I think it's adorable. Can't wait to stitch the gnome. Um, so that's that one. We're getting somewhere. Okay, next one I have is a new start from the Scarlet House, which I've never stitched anything back before. So a little bit of a story behind this one. Um, I am going to a cross stitch retreat, which is my first retreat and I'm so excited for it. Um, and it is the Floss Friends retreat, uh, which is mm, start middle of October. Um, now as it's my first one, I'm, you could kind of, so basically this is not like a fully normal retreat, I suppose, where you kind of go, um, and there's all sorts going on throughout the day and, uh, yeah, anyway, um, basically you can either go for one or two days and it is so, so much cheaper than any other retreat I've seen. Um, so I'm going for just the Saturday. I feel like it was like £20 for the day, which is amazing, I think. Um, so I'm just going for the Saturday. So if anyone's going, please, please let me know. Um, I know a couple of people that are going to it and I cannot wait to meet them. I am so, so excited. Um, I know Beth Chadwick is going um, and I'm so excited to meet her. I can't wait. And also Lauren from Flossibilities. I know she's going on the Saturday as well. Um, it is run by Lizzie Little Loops. Um, stitching um, and I'm so excited I can't wait to go I'm really really excited to sit and stitch with like-minded people and yeah I can't wait and that is in a run-up to a cross stitch retreat that I have booked for April which is um, run by Ladybird Retreats I think it's called and that one's based in Crewe uh, and that's going to be a full weekend one so I thought a nice little day will ease me in gently to the whole retreat world anyway for the retreat in October um there will be a smalls exchange um and it is an autumn themed smalls exchange so if you are going to that retreat and you don't want to see my small turn off for a minute or two um if you do want to see what I'm doing um stick around um so an autumn stitch that was small. I hunted around to see what I wanted to do. Um, I'm not really a Halloween kind of person, despite the cryptids and supernatural things. That's very different for me. I wouldn't normally stitch anything Halloween. I don't really do anything for Halloween. I don't really decorate for Halloween. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so I thought I'd just stick with the general autumn theme. So what I've gone for is the Scarlet House Autumn Alphabet. Looks like this. So I really like it. I love stitching on alphabet. Don't know why, but I love it. Um, and this is where I am up to. So it's coming along nicely. So I'm stitching this on a, another Claire Brown fabric. I think this is 18 count. Is it? Yeah, 18 count autumn leaves. And it's stitched. I'm stitching this with the call for um, threads, which are actually classic colour works. Are they all classic colour works? There might be a gentle arts in there as well. So this is where I'm up to. So I've still got obviously a little bit of the alphabet left to do and then it's just the orange of this pumpkin. And then that'll be done. But I need to get a little bit of a wiggle on because I've only got three weeks-ish left to finish this. And I don't know how to fully finish it. I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to just cheat and put it in a little frame or whether to try and attempt a little pillow. I don't know if I've got time to attempt a little pillow. I don't know. Apologies to whoever gets this at the Smalls Exchange because I don't know what it's going to end up as. But anyway, there it is. It's lovely. It's beautiful. I really like the pattern, um, and I love the fabric. I was so excited. I was so excited to um, find something to stitch on this fabric, and I think it actually looks really cool. Really happy with it. 
Okay, we're nearly there. One more to go. So this a last new start is another stitch along run by myself and Joe from Baluti Stitches. We wanted to stitch the Christmas wreath by Doreen Jones. I'll pop a picture in of what it'll look like when it's done. Um, we wanted to stitch this for ages. I think uh, was it last year? I think Evelyn from Evelyn Cross the Pond stitched it, and it's beautiful, really lovely. Um, I absolutely love the oranges on it. Um, we have a couple of hashtags we're using for this and we have quite a few picture, people stitching it along with us, which is really nice. Um, so we have hashtag orange wreath Sal and then we also have hashtag orange you going to stitch a Christmas wreath. Um, so yeah, there's a Instagram group for this one. So if you do want to join us stitching it, please do. Please let me know and I'll add you in. Um, sadly, I am behind due to said stitchy bug disappearing um but i will get back on track with this because i really 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 like it um so we've split this design into four parts uh the first one we started in august so we are hoping august september october november um so that we have time to fully finish it for christmas that was the plan don't know whether i'll manage that but fingers crossed we'll try um so the first part was the bottom right of the wreath so we're going to do like one quarter per month um i haven't finished part one yet sadly but here is where i'm up to so i've got most of the little robin done in the middle obviously still means it's back stitch doing and started on the wreath around the outside and when i started this i really really enjoyed doing it so i don't know why i've not done any more um but yeah this is on 16 count white ada called for dmc really beautiful colours. I just love the oranges in this design. Um, and people are absolutely flying with this. I think quite a lot of people have finished part one and they're moving on to part two. Um, so I will get my act together and get on with this soon. I hope. We'll see how we go. Um, and that's it. That is my stitching for the last five-ish months, however long it's been. Um, I think this video has helped me anyway. I feel like I've been very awkward and not really knowing what I'm doing, but never mind. Um, I feel like it's helped me re-establish a stitchy bug and I feel like this evening I'm going to stitch my heart away, I hope. In fact, my partner is out working this evening. So, Joe, I'm going to message you, see if you want a phone chat and we'll stitch together. That is my plan. Anyway, um, I could go into haul but i have no idea what i've bought other than those gecko rouge uh, designs that i mentioned earlier so let's leave that for now um youtube floss tube i am miles behind watching anyone i know i've definitely watched new people this month well this five months but i can't remember who uh oh one person i can think of that i've absolutely been loving their videos for is Lindsay from blushing pink stitches if you don't already watch her go and check her out she's brilliant she's a uk based floss tuber does all sorts of different designs. I'm behind on her videos, but I started from the beginning and I love her. She's great. Um, yeah, God knows who else I've been watching. Behind on that, um, no idea what my plans are. Just actually stitch would be a good plan. Um, go to my retreat, stitch there for a whole day, which I'm so excited to do. Um, yeah, and maybe come back and film a floss tube in less than five months. That would be good um yeah thank you for watching if you've stuck around this time thank you for coming back um if you have come back to me after such a long time and i will see you soon ish i hope <laughs> thank you bye